Hello! Welcome to Improve Learning Channel. In this video, we will explain how to represent the integers on the number line. Follow me. At first, we should know that the number line is divided into three parts. Negative integers, positive integers, and zero. Note that zero is neither positive nor negative. Also note the negative numbers are represented at the left side of the zero and the positive numbers are represented at the right side of the zero. Let's take an example. In this example we want to represent the positive number 2 on the number line. First, we draw the number line and write the negative numbers on the left and the positive numbers on the right and zero in the middle. Second, you have to know that each number is represented by a unique point on the number line. So, to represent the positive number 2, we put a shadowed circle around the number 2 on the number line. What do you think about this method? Let's take another example. In this example, we want to represent the negative number 3 on the number line. We will follow the same steps as before. We will draw the number line and determine the negative number 3 then put a shadow circle around it. Let's take another example. In this example we want to represent the number 0 on the number line. We will do as we did before and notice that the number 0 is in the middle and don't forget to put a shadow circle around it. Finally we have learned how to represent an integer on the number line. But what if we have a set of numbers? We will see in this example how to represent a set of numbers. We want to represent the set of numbers 3, negative 5 and 1. The method is easy. All we do is put a shadow circle around each number we want to represent. After drawing the number line, we put a circle around the numbers. 3, negative 5, and 1, as shown on the screen. Let's see our last example. We want to represent the set of numbers 0, 2, 4, and so on. We will do as we did before, by putting a circle around the numbers 0, 2, and 4. But this set of numbers is infinite. It is a set of even numbers. So we will represent the rest of the numbers with an extend arrow to the infinity. I hope it will be a simple method. Don't forget to practice what you have learned by doing the exercise for this section. Thanks for watching and see you next time.